I mean, I'm writing a book called The Varieties of Aesthetic Experience. I'm sort of borrowing from the famous uh, uh, William James title of Varieties of Religious Experience, and Varieties of Aesthetic Experience. Um, GA offers you in its uh, minimal uh, originary model, as it were, or the model of the originary scene, it offers you an analysis of aesthetic experience. Uh, and uh, it's, I find it extremely persuasive. One of its core terms is oscillation. Uh, attention, that joint attention that is for the first time established uh, um, in that originary scene, attention oscillates between the, uh, an image of the object of desire that has been designated by the sign uh, in, in, in consciousness and the, the object itself. Uh, and uh, there's a, the qualities of the, the quality of that oscillation, the, I don't know what you call it, wavelengths, bandlengths, <laughs> the, 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 the character, the weighting of which you spend more time on and how you're, how you're spending your time uh, when you're in an aesthetic experience, uh, all of which are, are, I think, a great improvement on some of the other ways we've had to talk about aesthetic experience. Uh, this is, you know, a set of terms, and again, the proof will be in the pudding, and uh, hopefully someone would read my book or, or those passages in Eric Gans's work that, that discuss this, um, that, you know, and be, see whether you're persuaded or not. Uh, but yeah, I think it's the, uh, what it does best, uh, GA, in the aesthetic, uh, in the realm of aesthetic theory and everything, is it finds a better place for desire than we've had up till now. Of course, it remains, you know, axiomatic that you can you can't eat the fruit in the still life. But having said that, where is desire? Where is the appetitive? Uh, you know, uh, and the, the artwork or the aesthetic experience itself is the product of that mediation of the appetitive by the sign. And uh, that oscillation uh, 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 is, of course, characteristic in a way that the, the originary sign itself. Uh, originary scene rather is one in temporally of a hesitation we would think you know and a hesitation to appropriate well that same sort of hesitation and it's as i say it's weightings uh and and so forth are are part of the aesthetic experience uh and uh, yeah I, I i i again the proof would be in the pudding and you know, one works at this out with actual artworks and so forth and and types of this experience and i've been trying to do that in my book and but yeah i, I think that's um it, it offers what I would say a qualitatively better um, way of thinking about um, aesthetic experience. It doesn't critique artworks in and of it themselves. I mean, that's, you know, there are many, many ways to do that and angles to do it from, but it, but why I'm calling my book aesthetic varieties of aesthetic experience is precisely that it's the experience of, of the aesthetic uh, that GA is particularly good at uh, hypothesizing or, or theorizing.